Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. Today, we're going to make some ornaments. And I'm going to show you how easy it is. It's so easy. And the great thing is, is that once you learn the technique, it's going to change the way that you edit and make things. Or say you buy a file from Etsy or online somewhere, and you just want to make some minor modifications. This is the simple tips are going to allow you to do this with, it's just a, great basic to know and uh so we're gonna make a couple kinds of ornaments we're gonna do it the easy way and then we're gonna do a little special you know but if you already have a bunch of files you could just peruse through those files and make ornaments out of any of them of course i sell this pack i put like six or so different ornaments uh all my usual suspects and they're already done all you got to do is cut them out uh, or you can, like I said, any of the packs that you bought over time of mine, you know, they have a whole bunch of things in it, corgis, kitties, all these sorts of things. You can just easily use this technique and turn any of those into ornaments. Also a really fun thing to do with your kids or your family, you know. I'll be using light burn because, hey, I think it's the greatest thing ever and I just love using it. But I think that you could probably do this technique with maybe XCS, a few other types of software. Don't hold me to that. Uh, I, Lightburn just, I can do all my designing. I can do everything in Lightburn. It's just amazing. I think size wise, around 3.5 inches is probably about right uh, up to four inches, just depending on how big your tree is and what you're trying to do. I'm sure I'm putting up pictures here. I got a little tree back there and also, a new CO2 laser, which we'll be going over in a couple of weeks. But you don't have to have a CO2 laser. I have made lots of wooden ones that look amazing. The two-tone acrylic, which works really well. Craft Closet, of course, is where I got all of this stuff. And you can, yes, with the CO2 laser, you can make some really cool transparent ones. And they work really well. But if you go to their diode laser catalog, there's also a lot of pretty cool things that you can make on a diode laser. I would say at least 20 watts though. If you've got a 10 watt diode laser, I wouldn't really mess with doing any of the, even the diode acrylics. It's my personal opinion. Uh, I think, you know, I've got the Lasermatic uh, XW, works great for that. Uh, but obviously a CO2 laser, like I said, you could do these transparents and mirrors and things that you can't do with a diode. Uh, that's just the one thing that makes them better. But also way more expensive. All right, without further talking about it, uh, let's just do it. Uh, it's super, like I said, super simple. Here's my Korg with hat. I made this a long time ago. I love this file. It makes everybody smile, which is, is the fun part. And uh, I hand did all this stuff. I just took some, I took my Corgi file and I just found a hat and just, ended up making it is turned out really good i think you can flip this uh, either way it doesn't matter whichever whichever side you like the best and uh you know some people like to do it in fill mode i like to do it this way so now if you look up here you can see this is what it will look like when it's finished so what we like to do is just kind of add a little hook right here so if we're going to add a little hook right there what i'm going to do is grab a circle. I'm gonna hold the shift button and I'm gonna make it, yeah, something like this. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. This isn't perfection, this is fun. So make it where it goes, you know, however it looks right to you. You think about how it's going to look when you're done because what you're gonna do now is you're going to hold shift and then click on just the outline. So if for some reason everything uh, selects when you hit the shift button, you're going to have to go up here and un, you know, ungroup it so that the only thing that you have, you click the circle and then you click the outline. All right. So once you do that, go up to tools. Something I just absolutely love is this Boolean assistant. And then you can just kind of go over the top of these and you see what it will look like when you're finished. Obviously, we don't want any of these, but this first one, which is generally the one you end up using, 
which is union A and B. That looks like what we're going for. So we're going to hit that and then we're going to hit OK. And so now this is all one thing. Uh, I'm going to turn it to red because I want it. That's my cut line. And then I'm going to grab another circle. And again, you know, just do this to where it looks right to you. Kind of put it in the center. Now I want to make sure that I have enough space around the outside to where it's not going to break. So I probably could make this a bit bigger. But again, this is going to be up to you. And you say, oh, this is what looks right. And you just add that there. And that simply, it's that simple, really. That's all you need to do. Uh, and you've got a hook there and it's going to look nice. But wait, there's more. Here's another one I put in the pack. Uh, nice. This is a, a nice looking uh, ornament. Now, say you want to turn this into an ornament. And again, we could just put that there. Actually, I want to grab a round one for this particular thing. Let's use the kittens. Of course, my best selling file. Most profitable. <laughs> when I make those coasters, I'm sure you've seen that video not too long ago. Amazing product. But there's so many things I can do with this file, and I just want to turn it into an ornament. So I'll grab the outside, just make sure that I can select just the cutout from the outside, and that does work. And what I'm going to do here, I want to make it to where it has that, you know that little crown that you see on round ornaments, and then you have the loop? Uh, I'll show you in a minute what I mean, but... It just makes it maybe look more like a classic ornament. Uh, and it doesn't take a lot more work. We use almost the same exact technique. So what I'm going to do instead of doing a circle is I'm going to do a little square. So I'm going to hold the shift button if I want it to be symmetrical. And it doesn't necessarily have to be. In fact, I could just redo it after. So I'm gonna, I think it needs to be about that size. So then I'm going to grab it and I'm going to actually put this up here and pull it down and say, okay, if you hold control, you can just kind of get things exactly where you want them to be. And I'm thinking if I do this, then it's going to look about right. And then once again, you could do the exact same thing you did before. Use the Boolean Assistant. And get rid of that. And now all of a sudden, bam. And now we can do the exact same thing we did before and just put the loop on the top. So I'll grab the circle. I'll hold the shift button. Shift, not control. <laughs> and... Now that I'm doing it this way, I don't need to quite do it as big, I think. I don't know. I'm just flying by my pants, just like, uh, you know, I know how to do it. So it's just, I like, I don't like holding myself too rigid to what I'm doing. You know what I mean? It's just try and have a little fun. This is an ornament, not the, you know, the Mona Lisa. Do it just like that. And then I will grab the circle. I'm holding shift again, holding control so I can get it right where I want it. And actually I want a little bigger. Now, if you want, if you really just want to center it, you could grab the whole thing and then you see where it's centered. That will help you. And then you can grab it again and just move it where you want it. I think I got the whole thing off center a little bit. Again, I'm not going to worry about it. So there you have it. And then once you cut that out, hey, it looks a lot like an ornament. It's going to be nice. Yes, you could do, you could put a curved line here and here to make it even nicer if you wanted to. You'd have to make sure that's a line, not a cut. But uh, fairly simple. 
technique that you could use to um, make ornaments out of just about everything. And I didn't do that with the pack. I, I felt like just having the uh, regular circle here at the top was just fine. And they look good. They're easy to make, but you can go as far with this as you'd like to. I guess the one thing I didn't say is you need to get the hooks. <laughs> I got mine from like Ace Hardware, but you can get them everywhere. You can get them online. You can get them wherever. The hooks are cheap and easy. It's just That's all you need to do is buy a pack of hooks and put them on the tree. And you can make personalized stuff, right, for your kids or your grandma or whatever you want to do. You could actually write their names in it. And so the ornaments can be for them and you can make them special. And uh, heck, I bet you, you could make uh, gift card holders, <laughs> you know, where maybe the money or something goes in the back of them. There's just, that's what I love about lasers. There's so many ways and different things that you could do uh, to make this personal and make it your own, make whatever shape you want. So I hope that you learned something in this video and I would really love to see what you've done. Now I know maybe you could, uh, any of the packs that you bought of mine, if you turn them into ornaments, you could put a picture on that. Or if you buy it, just support the channel and buy the ornament pack just cause not even, you don't even, you know what I mean? And then just make a picture of whatever you make and put it on there. I would really love to see it. And uh, send me some questions, thoughts about what you, you know, how this worked for you and what I could do better to help you and what other things you want to learn. All right. And I will see you all in the next one. Love y'all.